Hello everyone, Kevin Gurkley here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Secure A+. Uh, it was supposed to be the free edition, however, I cannot locate the free edition, um, so we are testing the pro edition. Um, I can't find it anywhere on their website, uh, and I don't see it anywhere else on the internet currently. So we are testing uh, Secure A+, version 6.5.2. And this is the latest version. I just actually initiated an update. Um, all security features are running and enabled. And in info and licenses, you will be able to see here that our license here is a pro license uh, that expires uh, in August. So we do have a 90 day trial that is provided. Um, this is not a free edition. As I stated, I could not find that free edition. So we are going to go ahead and test this one. Um, on this uh, virtual machine here. So all settings are set up uh, as automatic mode. This is all default settings. I haven't changed anything. So we're going to leave everything as default. We're going to go ahead and check for updates once again and make sure there's no new updates available. And then after this completes, as you can see, uh, software is updated, a reboot is required. So we will go ahead and reboot really quick just to ensure that we do have a legitimate test. And when we come back, we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are back here, and I just go ahead. I went ahead and rebooted the system, so I will go ahead and do an update once again. Um, I just tried it one second ago, and it's still telling me a reboot, a reboot is required. However, I have rebooted, and it's still saying this. So we're just going to go ahead and let it do its thing and see how it performs in this test. Um, and every time you start up your computer, this universal AV scan will run and scan all of your system files. Uh, so as you can see, no new threats are found. And we are going to go ahead and open up our malware tools here and get the process explorer extracted. And we will run that and get that started so that we can um, see what's going on in the system. Uh, so we'll put that on the right side there. And then um, on the on an application, you can actually right click and scan the files or you can set the trust level. So it's not entrusted. Everything is defaulted, not entrusted. You can actually set it as a trusted installer, or trusted application which will actually go through and uh, prevent everything from being, um, you know, blocked. It's actually a whitelist feature, so that would that would set it as a whitelist feature. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pause here for a second. I'm going to go ahead and extract my uh, ransomware samples, and we will go ahead and get started here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started here, and as I was extracting the files, there are a ton of pop-ups over here on the right. These are trying to actually remove the ransomware, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these two files. And these are, I'm going to delete this file because we are no longer using this. So ransomware files is what we're working out of. And um, as you can see here, as I stated, that there are uh, multiple pop-ups here. I'm not going to click anything. I'm just going to go ahead down through and run them. Um, I can actually ignore them permanently or delete them or quarantine them. So these are prompting that there are threats on the system. So we're just going to go ahead through and run these really quickly and uh, enjoy the music. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town
Okay, so as you can see, um, I went down through and tried to run a majority of the items. Nothing is letting me run from this folder. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is actually run a quick scan on this um, folder. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick scan with this uh, folder and see what we have that was detected. We're going to go and quarantine everything that is detected. Um, and as you can see, this is actually a uh, antivirus that does upload files as you test them or as you run them. So it is actually going to upload some files here to the um, analysis to see if it finds anything. So as it goes through and scans, we will go ahead and wait here a second because it's actually uploading these items now. So we'll go ahead and let it scan through and then we'll be back here in just a second. We will rerun those executables that are left over. Okay, so we are back here and as you can see here, the virus scan has finished. It has found 115 threats. It uploaded 30 of them. And we're going to actually go ahead and select all of these and quarantine. And we will let it go ahead and do its thing and remove these files. Um, I don't believe we might have maybe one left over. Yeah, we do have one file left over here. So let's go ahead and try executing this. And as you can see, it does not run. So there is an issue there with that application. Uh, so overall, I would say that Secure A Plus did a very good job. It actually didn't let anything through. Um, our files did not get encrypted at any point in time. And uh, we will go ahead and run a scan now, a full scan with um, Secure A Plus just to make sure nothing was let through. And then after that, we will run a full scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes just to see what it has to say as a second opinion scanner. So let's go ahead and uh, start a full scan here and we will see what the results are whenever we come back. Okay, we are back from the full scan from Secure A Plus, uh, Universal AV. As you can see here, there are zero items detected. Uh, so did not find any threats. Uh, Malwarebytes did find four things. I will tell you that these are false positives. These are tools that I have used to reactivate Windows after installing a uh, virtual machine. So these are false positives. These are not malware. Um, and then with that being said, in uh, Hitman Pro, there is combofix.exe, which is also not a malware application. It is a uh, malicious software removal tool. Um, and then also system32.exe, this is in the C users admin file. This is a false positive as well. This is part of that activation uh, tool that I use. So that is also a false positive. With that being said, there are zero threats on this computer. It is a clean system. So uh, overall, Secure A Plus Universal AV did a very good job at protecting our system. It didn't let us run any of the applications. Um, it does have somewhat of a sandbox or application control feature, which you could see in the bottom right corner there pop up a few times. Uh, to allow a program to continue running or to block it. It actually blocks all untrusted applications automatically, and that's the automatic um, portion in the Secure AV. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It does help me out a lot, so I appreciate if you subscribe to me. And also, uh, you can check out our Discord server. It's going to be in the link of this description, uh, so go ahead and check that out as well. We will post content on there that we do not post on YouTube, so you will get some uh, technical guides on how to remove malware from your system and some uh, basic information about threats as well. So with that being said, enjoy uh, your evening, guys, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Yeah.